Yo, what's up, family? I'm sure most of you guys have already heard that after three seasons, Fox has decided to cancel the TV show Star. Yeah, they gone. It has been a lot of fan frenzy on social media, especially on Twitter. And my messages have been crazy, okay? Number one, I have no power over where the star got camp. Boy, y'all was coming for me hard, boy. And I understand. I understand. But, you know, please understand. I'm a viewer as well. I was a, a diehard fan of the show as well because I believed in the story. So there's a lot of things that's going on with social media um, that, I, that I've seen. Of course, this is, I guess, is breaking news probably within the last hour or so. The word got out that um, the show was canceled. <sighs> I have been talking about the show being canceled along with other uh, star reviewers simply because of the ratings or whatever else we believe may have contributed to the show being canceled. My personal opinion, there was a lot of factors that was going on. I think one of the biggest things that happened was Disney acquiring Fox. And from a business perspective, if your show isn't getting the viewers, if your show isn't going to make me money, there is no benefit in having you. And I believe that if, you know, if I have to make a decision, me, if I was a business in that particular business and I had to make a decision whether or not I'm going to go with Star or Empire, I got to go with Empire. I have to go with the show that's going to be in, um, what you call it, is going to be uh, syndication. Couldn't figure that word. It's going to be in syndication. It's going to... Uh, it's it was it, going into another season. It got renewed. Is loyalty there, and it, they have a loyal, loyal fan base. Even when uh, Empire wasn't popping, and we was questioning, you know, what was going on with the show, they still had a loyal fan base. Even though some viewers, their viewership did drop sometimes within this season. I think one of the differences is the writing for Empire has always been great. We may have not liked the direction that they were going in or maybe even questioned it, but I don't believe the writing for Empire was ever trash. However, for Star, and I know people are going to get mad when I say this, they're not going to agree with it, and that's perfectly fine. The, and I stated this in the Nalys group chat on Instagram. The moment that the writers decided to end Nalys and to make the decision to not bring them back together, that's when they wrote their pink slip. It, it, it is what it is. I'm, I'm just sorry. I know that before the show aired its third season, they were doing things with the with the fans and uh, Ryan Destiny made a statement like, um, you know, D Dallas is a fan favorite. She was like, you're welcome. I don't think it was something that they wanted, but they knew that was something that majority of the fans desired to see on TV. So that's what they did. And in return, it caused their show to be canceled. Ever since episode uh, one of the third season, if you have been following my videos, almost every review that I've done, I've always talked about. I don't know whether or not this show going to get renewed because the way that it's going, I can't possibly see that happening. I do believe that Lee Daniels was well aware that this show was not going to get picked up. And this is the reason why I say this. I believe that Fox is adding seven to eight shows on their um their lineup for the upcoming season. And I believe that out of those shows, Lee is going to be a part of two or three of them in the um collaboration that he has with Disney. So he's going to be okay. I didn't see any room for Star. I didn't see them really going hard for Star. And if we really be all the way real, the promotion, everything they did for Empire, they didn't do that for Star. It was almost as if Star is like the, the stepchild, the redheaded stepchild that nobody wants or cares to invest time in. That's what I saw. As a once fan, you know, I, I have mixed emotions about it because I do believe that Star could have ran at least five to six seasons if the writing was good. But the moment they decided to make Noah the father, the moment that they decided to end Nalix, the moment they decided to do all of those things, that's when it was a wrap. You know, you know, and I think for those of us who really have, um, I ain't gonna say intuition, but really can see the bigger picture, we knew this show was not going to get picked up. Um, I think the way that they wrote the season finale to me proved that they didn't give a damn about this show. It proved that they, the insiders knew that this show was not going to get picked up. It proved that there was just no 
heart for the show and that's something i always talked about like what happened to the heartbeat of the show what happened to the heart and soul of star what happened to the writers you know this is something that i believe the real true fans that really loved loved this show we've been talking about that all season so when i see people that are shocked that the show got canceled i go back to my old question we watching the same show because i I don't believe anyone can sincerely and genuinely tell me that the spark that we saw with Alex and Noah was the same spark we saw with her and Derek. They did that to appease fans and it came and backfired on their ass. And I don't think they was expecting that because it's like, oh, this is the favorite. This is what everyone wants. This is what everyone has been complaining about. Let's put them back together and see our fans return and see them hype and see them this. No. No, it, it it was a little too late. And they had a few episodes this season that were good that I actually did like. Um, so I'm, I'm not going to deny that. However, they waited too long. You know, you waited too long. You established this, what, you sh what they should have never did. And they did not want this show to be canceled early in its run. They should have never put uh, Alex and Noah together. Because once they solidified that, it was a wrap for everything else. Noah and Star... Come on. Um, Alex and Derek, please come on. It was just, it wasn't there. And <clears throat> I talked about this, I, I believe, in the second episode, in the second review that I did for the second episode of this season, that you could tell that there was something, something going on behind the scenes with Quincy and Ryan, whatever connection they may have had, whatever offense that may have taken place, it was reflecting in their performance. I don't care what anyone says. You go back and you look at them shows, the timidness. It would seem like it was very uncomfortable. Things were forced. So I'm not shocked that the show got canceled. I'm not. Someone asked me, was I celebrating? I'm not celebrating. It's sad because the uh, just the, the the potential that the show had. That's, what, that's what's really disappointing to me. I am glad that you have the talent on the show that's able to venture out and do more things because I know that Star takes a lot of their time and it hinders them from doing other projects, so on and so forth. So I am happy that they're going to get an opportunity to experience that. However, I am not happy. I'm not happy about... Um, just the ending of what could have been something great. So, you know, I, you know, I may, I may be a little petty in this video. I don't know, but we're going to see what the Lord say. Um, yeah, man, it's just, it's just sad. I think some people knew about the direction that the show was going in. Um, just based on the interaction that the cast had with the fans and all of that stuff. I don't think that they were really happy. Some, I believe some cast members were. And I believe the other cast members were not happy with the direction on the sh of the show, but that's their job. And you get paid to act, so you better get out there. And when they yell action, you got to do what you got to do. It was just, um, it was sloppy storylines. It was open-ended storylines. So there were things that they started that they did not complete. There were things that happened that, you know, you really had to, like, what, what? That don't make sense. So a lot of those things happen. And it was almost as if we're going to present this crap to y'all. Be cool with it. Because this is what y'all going to get. And some people ate it up. And some people was happy about it. And you had other people who really, you know, are intelligent beings. Was like, wait a minute. If that happened. And this, two plus two will never equal five. You know what I'm saying? It's like they kept trying to push five on us. And it's like, nah, but this ain't adding up. This just doesn't make any sense. A lot of people were definitely upset by the whole Ms. Ruby thing. Why bring this woman back after nine episodes we haven't seen her to bring her back only to take her out like that? That was just, it was un, it was just uncalled for. It was just uncalled for for me, Lee being the creator of the show and the, the visionary of the show. It was, it was poor. It, it, it just, it's almost like I cannot believe the same person that created Empire and has the vision for Empire is the same person for Star. I don't know what the hell happened in season three. I don't know who the writers were. I don't know what their thought process was. I have no idea. You know, you still have people um that's talking about, you know, Jude's pregnancy is what messed up um the show. And I can see why I can see why people are saying that. I don't necessarily agree with it. The writing was just horrible because even after saying that when Jude came back from the second half, she wasn't pregnant. Jude wasn't pregnant. You know what I'm saying? Excuse me, the second half, she, was, the, she wasn't pregnant. But I'm like, you know, 
it got even worse to me the second half. And then they did the whole Nalix thing. They tried to give like little, you know, glimpses of hope. Like maybe there's something still there. Maybe not. But we going to play around with them to give them a little, you know, reason to keep tuning in. And it just wasn't, you know what I'm saying? And then you had the character Alex, in my personal opinion, degrade herself by asking this man to marry her. That's a whole other topic in itself. But I just think that there is no one to blame but the writers and the people behind the scenes, the creators, the whomever spitting out these storylines. It's them. You know what I'm saying? You know, congratulations to the actors for three seasons um, congratulations for, you know, doing your job and, you know, opening up, uh, opportunities for yourself and allowing fans, you know, new people like myself to get an opportunity to know who these amazing talents were, the Ryan Destinies. Of course, I already knew Lou James. Um, I did not know who Jude was. I did not know who, um, Brittany was. I didn't know who, I didn't know who Ryan was either. So it gave me an opportunity to get to see these talents, you know, consistently, on television and I know that God has great things in store for them and I'm just happy to see them flourish in that way and not be restricted it's just sad that um it came to an end like this that it ended like this that we didn't even get a series finale you know what I'm saying we got a season finale and it ended with bloodshed like that so no one got a happy ending at the end of the day so Oh man, it's just sad. Uh, it's just sad. Somebody, um, I'm trying to think about these questions. Somebody, and this is this is fresh, so I don't, I haven't really had a chance to really look at everything that was asked to me. Um, uh, people are shocked. I've had people they was like they, you know, they literally crying right now because Star was their favorite show, and I get it. I understand. Trust. That's how I felt when Moesha went off. So baby, I feel your pain. Trust me. We didn't get a series finale on that show either. Um, um, someone asked me about the whole Britney thing. And, um, uh, about people talking about her and, you know, she, when she, we, I ain't really got to discuss that because she ain't going to be dancing no more. Well, on TV, on Star, so that's something we ain't got to, uh, we won't have to talk about. Um, I did see some things about, you know, about, uh, white supremacy, white supremacists and, um, you know, colorists and things of that nature. And I, it, it's bigger than that. You know, you could talk about certain things at the end of the day, it's about money. It's about money. There are a lot of shows that press the envelope when you're talking about racial injustices, when you're talking about, you know, um, homophobic behavior, you know, because when you look at a, a show like Star, they're very pro, you know, um, you know, they, they support uh, homosexuals and they support transgenders, uh, transsexuals or whatever. It's they support that. So they have a big fan base about that. And so, you know, it's just a lot of behind the scenes stuff that, you know, people have to worry about. And it, it like it, like I said, at the end of the day, it's about money. What's going to make me money and what's not. What's beneficial for me to keep and what's not. You know what I'm saying? So that's how I see it. They had a good run. I wish it could have ended a little differently. Uh, this was something I saw in, in, our, in the group chat. And this was also something that someone asked me as well. Is do I feel they deserve to get canceled? Hell yeah. Hell, if you come to school every day, but you fail your test, do you deserve to get up the grade just because you got perfect attendance? Hell no. You deserve to be kept back. You deserve to fail. You deserve your elf. They, the writers, the writers deserve their elf, which was their C, which stood for cancellation. They deserved that. I just, and then the thing that really got me, they really was acting like they were happy with the work they was giving us. And they were happy with what they were doing. And I'm like how how and and if you watch my if you watch the review i did yesterday on the season finale i talked about how when you don't hold people accountable and when you're not real with people this is the result you know you put people in a position to fail when in that writer's team they knew some of those storylines were weak they knew they knew it i i I can't be convinced otherwise they knew it and they did not say anything better your team you're a team when one fell, y'all all fell. So you can't say, well, at least my episode had the most ratings. It don't matter, nigga, because you ain't got you are not on the show anymore. It's gone. You're without a job. So that's why I always say, you know, hold people accountable. If you know something ain't right, say something. 
all these people are without a job. We're just talking, about, we're just thinking about the writers and the cast. But what about the production team? What about people that did the music? What about the craft service people that they hire? It's a lot of people that are that you know are without a job today, and it's just it's sad, man. It's it's sad. It, it really really is. Um, I just want to come and give my my two cents when I'm able to. I just want to give people a fresh you know a fresh reaction i'm not shocked i'm not surprised this was very much expected very much expected to happen um people was i shocked that empire got renewed absolutely not empire was amazing to me this season i absolutely loved it um some people didn't like it which is fine um i, I saw some people were saying that uh you know it was boring it was slow but the thing about it, it was great storytelling and great storytelling will beat any type of messiness and drama any day you got a powerful story and i believe the show this is us is a great example of that it ain't got all that pettiness and nothing like that and that show garners about eight million viewers six to eight million viewers a week and it's just a well-written show quality over quantity any day any day so i'm expecting people to come for me because they knew how hard i was riding for Alex, and that's what i wanted to see at the end so at the end of the day i guess alec uh alex and Derek really are in game seriously in game um <sighs> it's just disappointing i'm i'm disappointed you know um Cause it just could have been so much better. It just really could have been so much better. And I know that Lee and the other people that are affiliated with the show definitely watch. I know they watch reviewer videos, which was amazing to me. Um, and it's crazy the stuff people ask. I had someone send me uh, uh the I am Zoe thing. Cause you know he do his commentary, which is hilarious. Okay. And they was like, you know what? Well, he got on the show or whatever, and you do reviews, and you ain't got on the you ain't got on the show and stuff like that. And I'm like, well, number one, me and Zoe are two. We're two totally different people. Okay, this man has millions of followers. I'm not on that level yet. It just is what it is. He lives in Atlanta. I don't. And he is someone who he's funny. You know what I'm saying? He don't really give a review. He's just funny and. And, and he comments on, he does commentary on the scenes or whatnot. And big ups to him because I know that he really is a fan of Star. And, you know, he loved Quincy and all of that good stuff. Which is cool. And big ups to Zoe and, and all of that. But at, at the end of the day, I know that a lot of my videos, along with other people I know who support Nalex, our videos could be categorized as controversial because we don't, we go against the grain. You know, the majority like Dallas, we wasn't, we wasn't, you know, vibing with them like that. So, of course, you get blocked and you get people trying to come in your inbox and stuff and cuss you out and, you know, try to drag you on your videos, which I'm all for because you open up yourself to receive that type of hate or whatever when you do these things. So, that's, that's perfectly fine. But I really, and I have written, I have written Lee, I have sent messages to Lee Daniels, I have sent messages to Karen Grizz, whatever her name, the, the show showrunner i have i have messaged many of people in a very respective way um just to communicate a concern as a viewer because i already saw what was going to happen so it is what it is you know what i'm saying don't let don't lose sleep over this people it's all right you're gonna wake up and the sun gonna be shining and even if it ain't shining hell you wake up to see another day so star ain't gonna stop your life because it got canceled another show will come along that will capture your heart and all that stuff like that um yeah, man. I just want to come to y'all and uh, I'll holler at y'all later. One.